Hello again, folks. Welcome to my Lex Luthor guide, which... Oh, just a mini guide. And it's just kind of telling you how I play him, what I think his tools are good for. So you, hopefully you can just sort of get used to him and start playing him right now while understanding what he's about. Because he's a really good character when you actually know his tools and what situations you need to stay out of and how to get out of them and stuff like that. So the first thing you need to do with Lex Luthor is to make him look badass. And the way you do that is to pick his insurgency costume or the third one which you get for completing the stars mission because that's pretty much the same but now he's got that costume on he looks badass right so the first thing I'm gonna talk about and show is basically his bread and butter combo he's got nearly only one you know this is the main one you're gonna use any form of opener into your vacuum meter burn and then a wall bounce jump to one one three into any form of special and I do that a couple of times now just to kind of Put that in your brain a bit but hopefully you'll see a different style of opener throughout these ones and you'll see a different style of ender so that time I did a gravity mine which kind of links together it is blockable but it's sort of a setup okay this time I did two lows into the vacuum now all of his normal attacks need to go into the vacuum there's not really anything else you can do that time I went into the trait which is going to be the main one you're going to do in the future of this video you always want to put your trait on if it's available at the end of that combo. You can go for your Lex Probe if you want a little bit of space, a little bit of, you know, breathe the time. And this time I'm going to go for Orbital Strike. Now this is avoidable as well by uh, Tech Rolling. Really you just want to get into your trait and then if that's not available I like the Gravity Mine situation. But we'll clear that as we go later on. So one of the first problems is 1-1. Is um, it's a mid attack as you can see, 1-1-2 one, one, is an overhead, but if they're crouching it misses on most characters, really a lot of them, so it's just kind of really, really dangerous in that situation. The fact that it's got an overhead at the end is good, but that indicates they're crouching, which you miss anyway, so 1-1-2 one, one, is really dangerous. I like to do back 1-3, this move, double low, which is a really cool, people don't expect it, um, but you do need to mix it up because if they block low then you're obviously going to do it so you do forward two and that's an overhead move which you obviously link into your vacuum cleaner as well um, but that's pretty much all his mix up he hasn't really got much high low mix up so I like using down one three a lot and then mix it up with forward two when I think they're going to do overhead okay he does have like two two down one and it is like an overhead but you can't combo out of it so that's not very good and he's got back two. You can't combo out of that. Actually, you might be able to do the vacuum cleaner, but you might as well do the forward one because it does more damage. And it's more likely to catch them if they're dashing away. So, back one, three, and forward two are going to be main openers, really. The, the back one, three also doesn't have any form of gravity put down. Other ones where you knock them off the ground automatically starts getting gravity associated with it. Okay, so he's got his corpse charge. What I'm showing here is that all of his special moves are really slow. Corpse charge is punishable on block, as well as his vacuum cleaner. All the other ones are not really an on block situation, um, but you can't link into them because they're, re they're really slow. They come out very slow. So if you do a target combo, and um, or, or a block string, a combo string, and it's blocked completely then if you go into a special move you're probably going to get punished or providing they do something after the combo is finished okay so Lex's trait is also a very slow thing but it's a pretty cool trait now to make it easier to explain I'll just show it on the screen as well there so what it does is you hold down the trait button and it will charge up level 1, level 2, level 3 now at level 1 it absorbs 1 attack reduces damage by 25% and lasts 4 seconds and then it's 50% damage reduction 8 seconds 100% damage reduction, 12 seconds, all being one hit. So it does take quite a while to come out, you know, for level 3 if you're holding it all the time. That took a little bit of time, which you don't really have time for. So you need to hold the button down and then dash out, and then you continue playing, you see. So I would recommend if you're playing Lex Luthor is to change your trait button to one that you can actively hold down. So if you're on a pad, a trigger button, or if you're on an arcade stick, one of the buttons that you continue pressing all the buttons with so probably one that uses your third finger and then you just need to keep going so if you get into the combo without your trait always end it with your trait so link into your trait and then dash forward and continue the pressure because that's what you need to do 
That's always nece necessary for Lex Luthor. Always go into your trait if you've got it available and you haven't got it on. If you do have it on, I like to link the combo into a far gravity mine. Because then, if they start doing something on wake up, they get caught and I can do loads and loads of, you know, pressure and I get into another combo, which is awesome. Okay, you can go into other things as well. You know, that, that mine might pressure them a bit, you know, and stuff like that. So you've got an option of things, how to end it, but if you haven't got your trait, always stick it on first. And uh, if you've got your trait, then you can end it however you'd like. If it's going to end the round, you might consider doing a corpse charge to end it and stuff, you know. So I'm just, throw I'm just messing about here, throwing out everything I've got. This is how you kind of pressure them. Okay, if you're in the corner, you want to do the forward three instead, um, unless you want the uh, transition. And there's quite a lot of things you can do. Forward three, and then back two, one, 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 up three, up from strike, you know. These are really cool sort of setups. They can be escaped, but I think you're relatively safe. Okay, you can actually use 2-2 two, two, down 1 in the corner without any meter and still get into the same sort of setup. Obviously, if you want to go for a stage transition, you can just do it. Now, an important thing to note is your gravity mines. If they touch the wall, then they just disappear completely. So that's really quite bad. So if you get into the actual combo situation, then you won't be able to use a gravity mine because I used the close one there and it still just got destroyed. So what you could do instead is after you've done the forward three, move back. You'll have less combo opportunity, but you can still get into your close gravity mine and then do a whiff <laughs> or something. For some reason, that whiffed. So a thing you can do in the corner is to make the opponents wake up, reverse, and get an opportunity to punish. So you end it with a lance blast, but then you dash out of it and then neutral jump on their wake up. And it sort of reverses their input and you get them on the face. So this is obviously situational, depending on what the opponent's wake up moves are. Okay, as you might have saw there, an important thing is that your trait, if you block something, you don't lose the trait. Okay, so it absorbs one hit, but only if you actually hit, which is really cool. And also there, if you put a meter burn back three on it, okay, it takes away the meter burn back three before it takes your trait away, which is even better. Okay, and that situation with the, the Lance Blast dash forward neutral jump can also be done with your trait because you're going to be cancelling into the trait and then dashing out of it so it kind of works the same way so I'm just going mega crazy on him now obviously this is training mode so whatever I'm just having some fun okay at the beginning of rounds I do tend to like doing jump back three because it's a really great hitbox it's amazing battle axe and uh, you can follow it up with a corpse charge but I do like to prefer setting up other ways um, like putting my trait on doing a lex orb or something like that um, because if you do corpse charge they get up a lot faster which is a problem but you do extra damage so it's up to you okay he's jumped two it's okay I mean in training mode it'll be great but when you're actually playing I found it very difficult to use a lot of it misses on a lot of people when they're ducking for some reason um, and so I just very found it very hard to use so I don't use it as much as because it looks like a standard jump two which would work it's got some crossover ability and stuff but I found it pretty difficult to use so Use it at your own risk, you know, you're probably going to try and use it in matches, then realise that it's quite difficult to use. 
in training mode though you're always in a perfect situation so it's hard to sort of know how it's going to happen when you get into a game if you know what I mean okay the next thing is is down ones they're pretty they're pretty decent you know not the best but not the worst and um, I do like his down two his down two does come out relatively fast you can combo out of it I believe and um, as an anti air it works well and it comes out quite fast now his down three comes out just as fast maybe one frame slower and that's amazing I think um, it reaches very far it's a low attack I really like doing down one down one and then down three to sort of get them to block or walk away and then you know you, you knock them off their feet okay so I'm gonna go over uh, some of his special moves briefly um, is Lex probe that's pretty good at sort of stopping them combo and goo if they get into a combo and you've got one out then it's gonna stop it and it makes things a bit safer like so that I would have got punished there but um, the Lex probe sort of saved me a bit so you can be a bit more daring with that It pretty pretty much negates the 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 recovery of that vacuum cleaner, which is nice because then you get a chance to try and get some maximum damage combo out. Okay, so I like to use Lex Orbs during zone when I'm getting zone basically. Um, so for imagine I'm getting zone, I'm trying to do orbital strikes. I keep getting interruption. As you can see, it's not actually coming out. It's got a high, long interrupt time. You know, so it only has to pretty much finish for it to actually come out. The Lance Blast sort of works. You know, it's quite fast, it does work, it doesn't give you much in the way of time to sort of retaliate. But I like to use Lex Probes if I'm getting zoned, because they do have an interrupt time when it doesn't actually finally come out, but it's a lot less. And if you get one out, then you know they're going to get hit, or they're going to get... Well, they have to block it, basically. So, it gives you time to start getting some orbital strikes out. I like to throw down a gravity mine after I've done one or two orbital strikes, because they're probably going to jump forward to try and evade it, or dash forward to try and evade it the orbital strikes because they're unblockable so it's really cool to start getting some things just from one Lex probe okay so now we have corpse charge this is obviously a really good move you want to use it to punish things if you can't get into a full combo with it and um, it's really good to use when you've got your trait on you can just start pressuring them like mad really you know because if they manage to hit you then you can kind of you just pressure them like mad when you've got your thing on a corpse charge is a good way to sort of keep going with the hitbox still in tow. You've also got air corpse charge. Now this is also just as good. You've got a massive hitbox and it goes just as far in, in every situation. I think it recovers a little bit faster as well if you're quite close to the ground. It's a good way to stop them using interactables because you go really far. You jump through, you'll kind of do that, situ that sort of job as well. Okay, you've got some crossover ability with it. If you jump over them and reverse your inputs, you do an instant reversal, you know, what you can see there. And you can also cancel it into it from jump attacks, like so, which is pretty interesting. So I've set the, the dummy to block, and um, when I do an instant reversed one, he's still blocking as if it was a forward front facing one. But if I delay it a little bit, he turns into a cross up, and I seem to teleport through him. I'm not saying there's any sort of use, I haven't actually use this at all but there's there might be something worth to explore in that sort of situation you know you've got some sort of cross ability if they block the the jump two, I found it very difficult to do the reversed inputs for some reason okay so his next special move is his vacuum cleaner you always want to meet to burn this what's really good is is that if they block or you miss them you can't meet to burn it so you always want to press the button really um, there's maybe one or two reasons if you're going to finish the round you might as well not spend the, the meter but still it's pretty good as an anti-air as well if they're jumping way outside you know where they should be you can pull them in because it's got quite a large sort of hitbox on it if you've got your trait on you don't even have to worry about the hits when they come in because they'll do one hit unless it's the flash of course then and then you're sort of sucking in for a full damage combo so it's really good as a sort of anti-air in that respect with your trait on it's just even better you don't have to worry about the one hit they are going to get on you. Now, in terms of combos, all your combo openers, like your back one three, your one one two, they all knock the opponent way too far away to follow up with anything, really, apart from a corpse charge, or you can follow up with any special move, but that's about it. And it's all just setup based, apart from your vacuum cleaner, which will give you a full damage combo opportunity. So you always want to go into your 
You vacuum clean the meter burn when you have the chance. And any time you get it off an orbital strike or a gravity mine, you can choose to do it if they're a bit far away and you can't really get them with anything else. Now your lance blasts, it comes out quite fast, which is nice. The charging of it, it's got three stages, you can see by the end of the, the lance, it's pretty rubbish. You can charge it unblockable, but you're not really going to get the opportunity to do so. And two, you can't combo out of it very easily, so it goes half the distance to stage two as well. So really you kind of only want to stick to stage one on this. can do a corpse charge after level 2 but it's, it's very difficult and this is very close if there were max screen well maximum distance for the level 2 then you wouldn't be able to reach them so that was very difficult to do I had a lot of trouble doing that so really just stick to level 1 lance blast you've got an angled one which might be good for stopping Superman green lantern or that interactable trying to zone you so that might be good in that respect okay gravity mine you've got close medium and far variations, it's not max screen. Okay. And they last four seconds. I thought it was longer, but it's not. One, two, three, four. Actually, <laughs> I'll count a bit slower. One, two, three, four. There we go, that's perfect. Okay, so they last four seconds, which isn't very long, really. So one of the things you can do is knock them into it with like a corpse charge or something and then get a combo. Generally I like to use it for in my bread and butter combo if I already have my trait on. Do a fire gravity mine and they have to block low in order to stop it or do a wake up invincible move so they get out of the way. Because all they have to do is block low and it will block it. Like so. So one of the tactics Lex Luthor has is to use his push block to get it to activate because when you're getting push blocked you can't block. So that's a really cool sort of setup. Now I haven't found many setups for it. You know, you can place one down and then if they jump at you, they might get... It's pretty good at stopping combos if they actually fall into it or something. Um, but if they jump over it with a jumping attack, you can push them back into it providing you block, which is nice. But these are all kind of things. I haven't found many situations. I like to use it, as I said, in my bread and butter combo and in the zoning game. Do a Lex Probe, do some orbital strikes, then they're going to dash or jump forward, so... I do a gravity mine to sort of catch them in the, the act and then just start pressuring them like mad. Okay, so that's my um, Malex Luthor guide. Don't forget, as a recap, that bread and butter combo, practice it, learn it, do it all the time. Always go into your trait at the end if you have it. If you've already got your trait on, I like to do the gravity mine, but feel free to experiment yourself. Don't forget, push blocks are pretty good if you get the situation where your gravity mines work and Use Lex Probes to stop zoning. Always back off if you can help it after you've done a corpse charge. Get your get your trait on and then go back in. And don't forget to be mega aggressive when you've got your trait. Jump three at them so they don't get a chance to do much. You know, your main matchups, which are going to be a problem, are the Flash, Wonder Woman, people who are really fast zoning, Deathstroke, for example, because then they can hit you, take off your trait immediately, and then you sort of, you know, Lex Luthor is all about his trait, which he uses for momentum, so... People who can take that off with little bits of tag, you know, tag you with a wake-up move, that's, that's pretty dangerous for Lex. So hopefully that sort of helped, and you can have fun with him. So <laughs> enjoy him, hopefully.